Hello, my name is Ning Kam and this is the third in a series of short tutorials on violin playing in general. I thought we'd talk about something that perhaps violin teachers don't tend to spend much time on in lessons, and that is pizzicato. Now if you are a harpist, pizzicato would be well, very, very important to you because that's the way you make music, that's the way your instrument plays. And since we can do pizzicato on the violin, we should care about the quality of pizzicato as it's just as much part of music making as playing anything with your bow or rests and all that. So let's see how we can vary qualities of pizzicato. The quality of pizzicato is determined by how deep you go into the string before you pitz and how quickly or slowly you leave the string after you've pitz. So for example, something that's short and exciting and accented would be You see how fast my hand has left the string? Now if you want something that's slower, perhaps um, heavier, more melancholic, with a longer sort of resonance, put your finger deeper into the string, which means getting more behind the string. Now before you pitz, you want to travel down the string and then release it slowly. And the speed of your hand after will determine the quality. So something like this. Can you see how slowly I've moved my hand after the pits? It gives the listener a character that they can hang on to. It's almost sort of, it forces them to listen to you. And that's wonderful because that's what you want when you make music. So. See the difference? Think about it when you're practicing. Have fun experimenting, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.